hello friends and welcome to youtube channel freedom tech and in this session i will share with you how you can detect a number plate and then how you can read the number plate text using latest raspberry pi os bookworm 64 bit version on raspberry pi 4 or let's just say if you have a raspberry pi 5 you can use same code for number plate detection so before we move to our practical friends if you learn something from our videos please consider to subscribe our channel okay friends thank you so much and let's get started so friends as i mentioned today i will share with you how you can use latest raspberry pi os bookworm 64 bit version for detecting the number plate text we will use raspberry pi 4 camera module also so if you don't know how to connect the camera module i will mention the link simply watch the link and then connect the raspberry pi 4 camera module simple so now friends i will mention the project folder link inside description box it is only available for one dollar or if you are from india it is only available for let's like, just say 100 rupees or 85 rupees okay so visit the store and get your project folder right now so this is what our project folder as you can see rpi number plate gen ai this is the project folder just open it inside that i have mentioned dot tier flight format model because I have already created the model which I have already converted into .tf light format. So it will work really fast. Simple. So I have already done with all these settings. But let's just say if you install latest operating system on your any Raspberry Pi version. First just open imp.txt with the text editor open the imp.txt text file with the text editor and then just open terminal open terminal and we have to run the first one command if you install completely fresh version because i have already done with all these steps so for fresh version first command copy sudo rm and then just paste inside the terminal hit enter it will remove this file it will remove this file but i have already deleted that's why it says there is no such file or folder simple then we want to upgrade our sony python ide so for that we have second command copy it open terminal and then just paste it and hit enter it will upgrade the sony python ide which i have already upgraded so let's just say if you have completely fresh version on your raspberry pi you need to run these two commands the first one command and the second one command for sony python ide from the imp.txt file so we have done with imp.txt now we need a packages so inside project folder i have mentioned requirements.txt file so what we will do let's just clear the terminal run ls command and this is the rpi number plate gen ai folder remember what thing friends you will get zip format folder you will get zip format folder just right click and click on extract here it will extract your project folder it is really easy to extract the folder using raspberry pi 4 so just right click and extract here it will extract the folder and the folder name is rpi number plate gen ai now run the command cd space rpi number plate gen ai hit enter run ls command and then here you will see we have requirements.txt for packages installed so let's just run the command pip3 space install space hyphen r space our requirements.txt file and then hit enter it will install all the packages which we need for this project on raspberry pi 4 which i have already installed as you can see it says requirement is already satisfied in your case of course it will take some time because there is a lots of packages done so now clear the screen that's it let me clear the screen that's it 
we have done with all the things we have our packages ready now we have our model ready now let's just right click main.py open with sony python id and then here you will see this is what our code we will use here google generative ai to read the text means we have here our own vision agent which will read which will read the number plate text from detected image means detected number plate simple so we have here ultra text yellow object detection and we convert the model into dot t of light format that's it so this is the code i have connected raspberry pi 4 camera module now here we have to mention our gen ai api key so let me open their website ai.google.dev go to the solution gemini api then get gemini api key then here you will see this kind of page just click on create api key then here you have to select any of your project i will select my project and then click on create api key it will generate the api key let's just copy it and now what we will do we will simply close all these things minimize and open sony python id and here google api key let me make up here google api key just paste it our api key click on save done we have all the things ready now let's just run the code so friends as you can see we started our raspberry pi 4 camera module this is the live frame as you can see my hand so friends now i will show the number plate image to raspberry pi 4 camera module as you can see there is a rectangle it's reading and this is the number plate rj14cy002 simple so we have our own gen ai agent which reading the number plate text we have our own object detection model which is basically we convert into tensorflow light format so let me show here one more image i have here one more image okay so this is this is uh, one more image let's just check if it is tracking yes it's detecting it's detecting and gen ai reading the image means gen ai basically reading the text so wb06 f5977 no matter your image is cross it will detect because i have trained the model using roboflow data set so this is how friends this is how friends you can simply use this code and you can read the number plate text with the help of ultra -altics converted model into tf light format also generative ai your own agent i hope you will learn something from this video we will meet our next video till then thank you take care and bye bye